Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So it's officially started you guys, nesting. If you don't know what that is, it's a phenomenon experienced by some pregnant women where they feel physically compelled to clean, organize, and do all sorts of preparation for the baby. Especially because my house is a construction zone, we don't have a kitchen, so every available space that we do have, I want it to be in prime condition. So the space that has been bothering me that I wanted to tackle in this week's video is the master bathroom. It has been years since that space was organized and decluttered, and it's time we revisit it. I want to declutter, reorganize, and also refresh the space on a budget. And also in case you didn't see, I have a $300 Amazon gift card giveaway going on currently. And all you have to do to be entered for that is be subscribed to this channel, my second channel, and following me on Instagram. It takes less than 20 seconds to enter. I will have the links and all of the other details in the description box. And with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's what we are working with before. You can see here, this bathroom is looking quite cluttered, way too much stuff on the countertop. We do not have a good organization system going. There's a lot of work to be done. So phase one of this project is decluttering. I am going through and I am discarding things that are old and expired and that I'm not going to use. There's a certain pile of things I'm going to be donating to my mom who loves all beauty hair care products and then a box of things that I'm going to keep and reorganize. I'm not going to show you this entire process. It ended up taking quite a long time, but I was listening to a good audio book. And I will just say this, my approach to doing this as low cost as possible is reusing things I already had. So I made it a mission to go around my house and find containers that I already had in storage or things I was not using. So I ended up only having to buy one new organization product for this video and most of the things I actually used are from the dollar store. Everything has now been cleared out. Now I go in and I need to clean everything. Countertops, sink, I'm going to wipe down the inside of the drawers and the cabinets. Here's stuff that's either old or expired to get rid of. In these boxes here are the things that I'm keeping and want to reorganize. I did a massive purge, so I have a lot less stuff. Here are my cleaning supplies. We have some fresh microfiber cloths, magic eraser, our cleaner. So let's get going. So with the cleaning here, again, I'm not going to show myself cleaning the entire bathroom. That would be a very long clip and not the purpose of this video, but you can see here me and my big belly are going through and cleaning the bathroom before we start putting everything back together and reorganizing it. You always want a clean slate when you're reorganizing. Under the sink here, I did add these cabinet liners. These are really handy to have and keep things nice and clean looking and sanitary just in case there are any spills. The drawers in the middle are already lined from the last time I organized this bathroom years ago. In the cleaning process, next little thing I'm doing, because you can see these drawers are kind of scratched up, even though I just cleaned them off. So I got this furniture marker touch-up pen so I can fill in all these little white spots that look bad on here. So it's gonna look a lot nicer. Here this is after, and it just looks a little bit better. It's not perfect, but you don't see those white marks, which are a lot more jarring on the really dark cabinets. So as I'm organizing and putting everything back together, I'm going to be labeling as much as I can with these stickers I found that are for bathroom organization. There's a huge list of stickers, pretty much everything that I would need. And this is just gonna make my life easier on the label front, and these look really nice. So I think this is an added touch that I'm excited to do. Okay, so here we go with our organizing process. I like to keep an extra set of cleaning supplies in my bathroom. In the back, I have some extra toiletry products like razors. On top of that is this makeup storage bag that has travel size makeup products and extra makeup products that I'm storing back here. In the front are these stackable shelves that I found at Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. I love these shelves because you can subdivide several items and you're really utilizing the vertical space. Then I went through and I used those label stickers just so I can easily reference what's in there. And visually this just adds an extra element to your organization. It looks very streamlined. I also did not point out that I have this hair tools little hanging rack here where I put my straightener and my curling iron. 
Now for the other side under the sink organization, I have this acrylic Lazy Susan organizer. Originally this was on top of the countertop, but it looked a little too cluttered. So I moved it under the sink and these are my most used hair care products that I reach for frequently. And the next element is this magazine rack from the Japanese dollar store that I like to use to put my washcloths in. I just roll them up, put them in here, they fit perfectly. And one of my favorite organizers is this stackable stainless steel shelf. What I like about this is that the drawers slide out so it's even easier to reach for the products in here. On the bottom, I put my makeup brush cleaning supplies. And then on the top, I put all of my tanning supplies and body lotions. And the last step here was just to label everything and this area was good to go. For the bottom middle drawer over here, I have these clear pouches. Because these are clear, it's just easy to see what's in everything, very handy. This next one has my hair accessories. I keep my hair ties on a carabiner. I've been doing this for a long time. It's a very handy way just to keep them all together. And for my bobby pins, I keep them in a tic-tac container. Again, just a very handy way to keep them together so they are not lost all over your house. The next drawer is extra makeup products that I do grab from time to time. These clear drawer dividers that the makeup is in are from the dollar store. This drawer has some miscellaneous things. This is my mirror tripod that I use. And in this really cute box from Daiso, I have all of my DIY lash supplies. And yes, video is coming soon. It's probably the number one thing I'm asked about. It will probably be up next week. And in this cute marble compartment is where I keep all of my DIY nail supplies. And I did just do a video on how I do my press on nails, how I get them to look natural and last for two weeks. I am a master at press on nails at this point. So that is a must watch video if you've ever wanted to try press on nails. And in the top drawer here, I use this cutlery organizer from the Dollar Tree to subdivide some of my most used toiletries. So extra toothbrushes, my hairbrush, my skincare brushes and my tongue scrapers. And in the back, I have my hair clips. Now for this space in between the mirrors, I had a vision to add these clear acrylic shelves so I could get things off the countertop and utilize this empty wall space. I actually got a set of four shelves for under $30. I only ended up using three. So because these are also display shelves, I wanted them to look pretty. So I pretty much have a shrine here to my mom's skincare products. They happen to be very beautiful. I love the labels and they have the metallic shine. And on the top, I have my Scentbird little perfume samples, which I think also look really nice. I just love the way these look because it takes things off the countertop, but it also visually looks really nice in your bathroom. So for the countertop itself, I wanted to keep it as minimal as possible. So I have my electric toothbrush, my electric facial brush, then these stackable glass containers for Q-tips and cotton rounds. I also did pick up this other Q-tip organizer from Daiso that looks like a little flower that I thought was pretty to have here. So I couldn't decide which one I wanted to go with. For now I have both, but I think they look pretty here and it's not too cluttered. Now for my vanity area, this is what my old vanity looked like. It is actually embarrassing. I used this rickety TV tray, everything was falling off. And so I upgraded to this really pretty vanity desk I found on Amazon for a great price. I have a very minimal makeup collection. The way I organize this, I use spice rack liners to put my foundation and concealers on so they don't roll around the drawer. These clear compartments came in a set of six for $10 on Amazon, so great price on those, just to subdivide my makeup items here. Underneath, I got a storage ottoman stool so I could store even more stuff. Right now it's empty, but in the future, if there's more stuff, I do have room to grow. On the wall here next to my vanity, I have these dollar store hooks where I put my most worn necklaces. I also want to point out that I've recently added these magnetic necklace clasps and it is such a game changer for wearing necklaces. It makes it so much easier. Okay, now that we're all organized, I'm going to show you the last finishing decor touches I did in here. First was updating this light fixture. So the one we had before, there was nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't amazing. This one I actually found for under $100 on Amazon and I think it looks a lot nicer. Now, yes, it is off-centered. That's where 
the fixture was put in. There was nothing we can do, but I do think for under $100, this is a nice little easy upgrade. Now, I thought this room needed some artwork, but I didn't want to spend a lot on it. So I actually found these three coordinating prints at Target. So two of them I put above the bathtub, and then this one I put above the vanity. This cute little soap dispenser is from Target. And if you're wondering where my skincare fridge went, it got moved over here near my nightstand and is now my pregnancy snack fridge. Now for the kids bathtub organization, I just showed this in my kids organization video. So if you want more detail here, but this is his little toy organizer. This shower stool we use because it helps us not have to hunch over while we're bathing Carter. And sometimes I move it into the shower because I'm pregnant and it helps me shave my legs. I use it as a little footstool. In the shower, I went with the approach of just really minimizing what I actually use and consolidating things. So I use my Function of Beauty hair care products. One little easy upgrade I did is I got this Rainhead shower. It was only $13 from Amazon. It has insane reviews and it just adds a little bit of luxury in the shower without having to spend a lot of money. Another little element of luxury that I added that I highly recommend is this memory foam bath mat. It's just one of those things you don't think you're gonna love it as much as you do. And I'm telling you, it is one of life's simple pleasures that I just love having. It's really affordable. And lastly, this came just in the nick of time to show in the video. This is an amazing find. This runner rug I put down here was only $25 on Amazon. And I think it just really completes the space. It goes well with the artwork, the color scheme, and it gives it kind of that spa-like vibe in here. So I will show you again a before of this bathroom and the after. I cannot tell you how happy this bathroom makes me now. Organizing is one of those things while you're doing it, it's a little challenging, but afterwards it is so worth it a hundredfold. All right, so that is it. I have to say it feels so good to have that space decluttered, refreshed. I think it looks so much better. And that's an interesting space because we were going to remodel that entire bathroom. We had been saving up to do a remodel in there and then had some come in and give us a quote and it was astronomical. It was three times more than I expected it to be. So we're like, you know what? Maybe the bathroom is just fine for now. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to enter my Amazon gift card giveaway just by subscribing to this channel, my second channel, and following me over on Instagram. All of the details are in the description box. So with all that said, I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye.